Brown County leaders say it's only a matter of time before Brown County has its first mosquito test positive for West Nile, but they're doing everything they can to prevent people from contracting the virus here. City leaders in Brownwood are not taking the West Nile situation lightly. With the areas around us, it's very scary. At this point, I didn't think it would grow this much. Sanitation inspector Paul Coughlin has been placing mosquito killing briquettes in standing water around Brownwood since May. We're out till midnight looking at waterways, ditches, anything that might have water in it. If they're in the larva stage, we can use these briquettes, but if they're already flying, it's too late. Emergency preparedness coordinator Jody Armstrong says it takes simple precautions to prevent the West Nile virus called the four D's. Stay indoors if you can, anytime from dusk to dawn. Spray yourself. If you're outside, wear long sleeves. Armstrong also says drain any standing water in yards. One statistic for Texas alone, Armstrong says, is hard to swallow. We've got 84 new cases that have just been turned in since Monday's report. And the health department is also taking deep wipes to the Salvation Army for them to pass out as another precaution. Braid? It is becoming a serious situation. Thanks a lot, Sheena. Another thing Brownwood officials want the public to know, discarded tires. They're a primary place for mosquitoes to breed because they hold water. And Brownwood officials say they are seeing a lot of tires in people's yards, an increase actually. And this is a violation of city health and safety ordinances. To properly dispose of tires, you can call the City of Brownwood Recycling Center. And if you need some information on that, we've got it on our website, ktxs.com.